Okay, we're delighted to say that Marco Silva, the Everton manager, joins us now. Marco, congratulations and thank you very much. Come here. Thank you. I'll try not to stand on your pitch. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Just first of all, congratulations. How important was that victory today, particularly after the Fulham game? Uh, it's really important, of course, after the, the last um, result, uh, the last performance uh, wasn't clearly good enough for us. Um, we must react this afternoon and show something uh, different. No different than what we were showing the last uh, three, four games home, because we, we were in a fantastic uh, run home. Uh, four games, uh, three games before this one with clean sheets, good important results for us. Of course, the last result wasn't what we expect, even the performance. And this afternoon we react, we prove again our, our quality. It's something I want always, but last week was not possible, bad afternoon. But uh, this, week, this, uh, this afternoon we showed again quality since the first minute we were the, the best team on the pitch. We deserve the win. Um, again, with clean sheet, it's really important for us also. Yeah, we have Dave Kitson and we also have Leon um, Osman, your former player, I'm sure, who wants to ask you some questions too. Leon? Yeah, sure. You've got Bernard, Sigurdsson, um, Richarlison, so creative, so able to, to score goals, but you've got them working so hard defensively to keep clean sheets. How have you managed to get them so happy to be able to work <laughs> defensively for the team? Yeah, I agree with you. It's not something easy when you have players with this quality. Um, like Bernard, Richardson mm. and Gilfi, but if uh, Theo is on the pitch or Lukman, they will do the same for sure. Um, but it's our idea as a team and you know, for, for us to win something in Everton, to achieve something important for us and to give the right steps to achieve that level the club um, had in the past, uh, we have to keep doing in this way, working as a team. For us to can score goals, everything could start um, in Jordan mm -hmm. or in our back line to start well. And for us to have clean sheets, everything could start in Dominic and, uh, and Gilfi this afternoon and our wingers. But I agree with fantastic the, the tactical work Bernard is doing every, every single match. Gilfi is, is a fantastic example for us. But they have this, this quality, but we, are, we work during the week also for them to be in a good physical condition to, to do what they are doing. And after with the ball, they have the quality. It's important for me and, of course, what I want coming from Bernard, Gilfi, Richarlison. All these players is for them to solve our, our problem in the third attack, to create the chance, to put their creativity on, on the pitch. But after, if you give them the conditions to help us without the ball, will be a key for us. And this afternoon was again. I, what I was really impressed with as well, apart from the, that, what you mentioned with the, the pressing, is that maybe something that's been lacking from, team, from an Everton team in recent years is that killer instinct. But it's not just about it being in front of goal as well. It's closing down. Is everything we used to associate with United, and here we are seeing now Everton do it. How excited are you for the end of this season and going into next season? Is everything what I want mm. for me? The, um, I don't want to talk about the next season because the most important thing for me will be the next three matches. We have keep with many things to to show to prove um, because uh, what we did this afternoon, we have to to see some to see some reflex next week. Mm -hmm. It's everything what I want because it will be a different game, not home away. We have to go there to prove again. I know we will work in the, the same way because it's something we are doing since the first day. But of course, it's in, even for me, it's good to see. I'm enjoying yeah, what, yeah. what we are doing, mm -hmm. to see how Bernard, Richards and Gilfi, Dominic also, how he's improving his, yeah. his, his game, his idea is more settled in, on the, in, inside our squad, in our, our team also. It's really important for me. And of course, if you can, and I'm sure we'll do that, um, finish the season in a good spot, help us to the next season, yeah. to prepare well the next season, to start with, di with different con confidence than we started the yeah. season, because yeah. I, I remember when I joined the club, how the club, the mm -hmm. atmosphere, the environment was in that moment. It's different now, but we have to keep proving that to start well even the, the next season. Marco, we will let you go shortly, because I'm sure you have a, your post-match press conference, but just finally, four fantastic goals, and it could have been more. Which one pleased you the most? The three points, always, and the clean sheet uh, for me is, as a manager is also really, really important. Another even, home clean sheet. Even if our idea is offensive idea, even if you can see the first half, we were always pressing high, doesn't give um, many, many chances to them to arrive in our in our box to win corners or free kicks or whatever. Our idea is, uh, is offensive idea, but you cannot play offensive football pressing high if you are not a block. Um, a solid block and if you don't work as a team. For me, it's really important to achieve that and after if you can score four goals again, Man United is something always a, a manager can enjoy. Good goals also the players enjoying and for me it was the most important thing. Okay, Marco, thank, thank you, you so thank much, you much. And thank you. congratulations thank you. as well. Thank you. Cheers, Marco.
Thanks very much. Um, it's interesting hearing him not wanting to focus on next season, just talking about game by game. But what, what for you was the standout thing he spoke about there? Is it, is it the effort, the work rate, what's been going on on the training pitch? Anything else? Yeah, the clean sheets. Yeah. Um, you know, I asked the question to, to Gilfie before as well, that how has the manager ch has changed anything to make you concentrate on clean sheets? And it just seems to be so important that he's got... You know, his attacking players that we know can create opportunities and create moments to score goals. He's got them buying into the clean sheets because if you do that, you might only need one goal in a yeah. game. It's yes. the foundation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Things changed and there was four goals for Everton today and could have been more, but the fundamentals, you get the clean sheet part of the game right and you've always got to give yourself a chance. <laughs> Jaggy Elka is smiling. You want to go and say hello? Congratulations. Right. Okay. Okay. It's all right, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> we talk about ten minutes. we talk about how fit they are and the work rate, but he looked exhausted. <laughs> well, it just shows, you know, that it, football and, uh, and footballers, it's not just about the ninety-minute games. You know, for those players who didn't play more than fifteen minutes or that were sat on the substitute bench, come and do loads of running out on the yeah. field just to make sure that they're physically up to the task and physically they're going to be in the same place as those who played. And you know, you only really see those glory moments the 90 minutes of football but it's yeah, yeah. it's a it's a nine till well it's a nine till five it's a it's a full week of uh, of training to make sure you're in the right condition yeah yeah